I bet all the ladies that watched this episode of Food Wars was excited to see that unexpected man service twice with the uh, the dude that's pretty much butt naked. That was unexpected. I mean, I guess it's only right and fair because we had fan service for the past couple episodes with constant giant ass opi. I guess it's fair that the ladies get some fan service as well. So, Food Wars is not really, I guess, you know, specific on a certain gender. They're willing to do both genders when it comes to fan service. So, this equally has both fan service on both sides the spectrum so ladies will be happy with this series and guys can also be happy with this series so i'm just saying right now that's quite shocking i did not expect to see that type of fan service in food wars now with this episode of food wars we get introduced to i guess our main cast of characters that's kind of what this episode goes to do it makes it to where our main male character soma goes into the dormitory the polar Polar Star? I think that's what it's called. Polar Star, whatever. It's, you know, it's Polar something. He goes into the dormitory, and he is going to be living there for now on. And we get introduced to a bunch of these characters, this uh, wide variety of characters that each have their own different stereotypes and stuff like that. And we get to see how the personalities are, you know, their different aspects of what they could possibly cook. Stuff like that. And with the end of the episode, it leaves us on a cliffhanger with finding out that Ishiki is part of the Elite Ten. Now, it's not the Elite Four. Don't mistake an Elite Ten for the Elite Four. The Elite Ten is these top ten students that are above instructors themselves. And that's broken. That, that's fucking broken. Like, that straight up is broken. So, these Elite Ten are more powerful with authority than instructors and teachers. That means they don't really have to listen to no one when they make a final say-so or anything like that. Like, the only person that could do anything to them is the main principal of the entire school and that right there just goes to show you how up in status these elite 10 are and how good they are at cooking so i think we have a glimpse at the goal that we need to expect from the series now i think soma our main male character is going to be going after the elite 10 and trying to beat them and probably move up into the rankings of the elite 10 to you know get to the top and then probably graduate something like that is probably going to happen i'm willing to bet it and judging by the way the elite 10 was introduced and the way it was foreshadowed in this episode i'm going to assume that everybody in this dormitory is going to be part of the elite 10 before the series is over because at the beginning of the episode or middle portion of the episode we kind of find out that people in this dormitory a long time ago maybe five to ten years ago they're the entire dormitory was full with the elite 10 like the elite 10 was you know the top students and the entire dormitory was filled with the Elite Ten. Like, they all lived in that one little dormitory. So it makes me assume that little segment right there is foreshadowing for the possibility of everybody becoming part of the Elite Ten. And it's not just that, either. I'm assuming, with the way it was introduced, to graduate from the school, I'm assuming you have to be a part of the Elite Ten. Because I remember at the beginning of the series, you know, when the first episode and second episode started... When we got the laydown of what to expect from, you know, the characters or the school in general, we come to find out that only a set amount, like, people you can count on your hand can graduate from this school. Like, you can count them on your hands, and if you think about that in a logical perspective, that's ten. That, that's fucking ten right there. So, if you can count them on the palm of your hands, that means the entirety of the Elite Ten are the only people that can graduate from that school. And that means that Soma's gonna have to move up into the Elites to be able to graduate. So, very subtle foreshadowing. I like that a lot. I, I really like that subtle foreshadowing that it did. So, yeah, this episode of Food Wars. Unexpectedly good. Well, you know, it's not really unexpectedly because it's it's been fucking good the past couple episodes. I mean, of course, people have their own issues when it comes to certain fan servers over the top fan servers. And I, I can understand that issue. But I'm thankful that, at the very least, the ladies of the series that watch the series now have their own set of fan servers they can look forward to. Because it's not just you know, for us guys, it now has fan servers for both genders, which is, you know, it's a good idea, it's a really good idea, I, you know, more anime need to embrace that women do watch anime too, not just guys, not just guys watch anime, and some women want to watch shows like, you know, how us guys want to watch harems and stuff, they, they deserve that type of stuff, so tell me your thoughts in the comments below, you all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live, please be safe, chibi out.